right guys welcome back to this class uh, on the previous uh, video that I did we trying to install and configure the IPA server and uh, we done with that so if you didn't watch that go back and make sure that you watch that video so this next video will make sense to you so the next video that we're gonna do is gonna be under the server 1 uh, and server 2 those two server are the client uh, for say for the IPA server server one is basically gonna be our main server for the client I know it's kind of be tricky that but you understand where we go on uh, the server two is basically gonna be the just the client server the server one is gonna be the whole server so let's get into it so server one lets me power it on and the same thing that we did in the IPA section we're gonna keep the same thing uh, consistent for the server one server two so that being said we need to go and uh, delete all the network interface there and just configure a new network and give it a new IP change the host name ed edit the host file so we have uh, all the configuration handy to set up the authentication with the Kerberos because without that we're not gonna have any uh, good luck at all I can guarantee you that I've been I've been in those situations that I spend night and night to figure that out. So I don't want you to go through that pain. So open a new terminal and then uh, make sure you are root. So what we need next, first thing is same thing as we did before. Uh, I can show you that, but I need to delete it anyway. And we need to configure a new one. Name it ETH0. If name is going to use the same interface, type is Ethernet auto connect. Yes, IP4. We need to give 10.0.0.91 on the slash 24. The gateway standard 0.0.0. That one. All right. So next thing is modify that IP before that method. Uh, modify. Sorry. It is zero IP before that method. And we want it to be manual. And then we give it the DNS. Which is going to be the DNS of the IPA server. Do not get that one twisted. So that's all we need for the network part. So let's bring down that interface. And then bring it back up. Okay. So first thing I like to do is make sure that I can ping my IPA server. So I is able to ping it. So now I'm just gonna go and edit the host file. So same thing as we did on the IPA part. So make sure that it has all those components on it. Server one that I saw. So let's save this file. Next thing you're gonna do is set the host name. So we're gonna call this server one dot example dot com. And I think that's pretty much all we have to do uh, as far as network and name of the host. So the next thing we we have to do is to install the LDAP and the PAM uh, for the Kerberos authentication. So that command is very straightforward. You have install NSS uh, PAM 
underscore or it's not, it's not underscore LDAP D. I for, don't forget the D. I did that multiple times and uh, I was like, what is wrong with this package? But you need the D at the end of the LDAP, so make sure you have done it. Looking like it's complete. Let me extend my console here. So next thing we're gonna do is to do the auth config to it. And here, all you need to make sure you have checked is the use LDAP and use LDAP authentication. Uh, I don't think we need the LDAP authentication, we use the carriers instead. So, next, yes, we're gonna use the TLS, and the LDAP is the same as your IP server. So, example.com. Example, if I can spell it that right. Next, the realm is our capital example.com and we're gonna use the GNS to resolve the host to the realm and also to locate the KDC for the realm okay and hit okay all right so next thing we're gonna do is to make sure that we copy those certificates. Uh, you remember when we did the key tab creation on the IPA server? Here's here's where it's gonna come in handy. So I cd to Etsy, open LDAP. It's called Gasserts. Yeah, there we go. And from here I have to copy. Uh, the root cert from the IPA here and to do that is simple as search root the name of the file is cut cert that p12 I want to copy that here so yes All right, if I do a LL, I can verify that is right here. So looking good. Next thing we need to do is to modify the NSLCD file. So let's see NSLCD. And what the only thing that we're gonna need here is the TLS uh, requisition request cert. We don't want to request for a certification for that. So save that file and uh, restart the NS NS <laughs> this one always got me NS LCD service. So system CTL restart NS LCD service. Okay, at this point we should be able to authenticate our user. So we remember the user LDAP user that we create for the uh, IPA server, we should be able to log in as that user. And uh, yes, indeed we are. So who am I? I'm a U LDAP user one. So I'm gonna exit and try that for LDAP user two. And who am I? Oh, it's not who me, who am I? LDAP user two. So that's, that's pretty much what we're gonna do here. So you can just repeat the same exact thing, uh, but make sure that you put your server uh, 2 has an IP of uh, 92 instead, and then the, the process is the same. So uh, in this video, I show you how to uh, install the Kerberos, the PAM authentication, the LDAP, and to be able to authenticate through the IPA server. So pretty much I'm going to pause, the, uh, stop this video here. I'm going to do the same on server too. And uh, we, we catch up for, for the next video. Thank you for watching. And uh, 
give me a thumbs up uh, if I'm doing pretty bad just comment it out and I will work it out for you guys I hope you enjoyed this class and uh, see you next time